speaking of that fight, uh, you're not involved in negotiations, but you have a high level of expertise. You've heard their back and forth on social media. You heard Bud explain, and then they went back and forth on Twitter. Mm-hmm. Who's wrong and who's right in this situation? Um, I don't know if I can – because it, it takes two to tango for, for sure, right? Um, what – um, so if we reel it back and they had said from numerous of the journalists that I talked to, they're like, nope, he was guaranteed a purse, um, but didn't want the purse. He, he wanted a higher amount. Um, and at that point, um, then it, I understand where they were saying um, that they wanted to do, uh, what is it called? A, like a no guarantee, but you get, you get money off of everything. Right. Yeah. Um, so with that, I was like, okay, I mean, it's a big fight. Um, if you're going to gamble, then this is your gamble. But and, and I always what I said was be because of the fact that Crawford doesn't know his numbers. How does he how where does he gamble? Right. So I, I believe he wanted a guarantee because he didn't know his numbers on the back. So he you know, to have a higher guarantee and take let's just say take the 40 percent or 30 percent split on pay-per-view. He doesn't really care because he has his money up front. He doesn't really have to sell the fight. Um, but because he does, didn't know, he was trying to figure out this balancing scale of, of numbers. Now, the one thing that irked me that people kept arguing about was, oh, well, if I don't have a guarantee, I want to be able to approve expenses. I want to see the books, um, et cetera, et cetera. And they said he should be able to. My problem with that is you're coming into a fight uh, into a negotiation and you're basically saying I'm here I'm just gonna show up you know what I'm saying like, I'm not putting out any money <laughs> you know what I'm saying like that's it I'm not gonna provide uh, logistical support I'm not gonna give you um, more uh, administration to work with um, I'm not gonna give you a, a, a site that I have for free I'm just gonna show up but I want you to show me everything you got that's never going to happen unless Bud decided to take 10 million of his own dollars and said, here, I'm putting this down. Now we're partners at that point. Yes. Now you're partners and you have to, and if you are going that as, as a financial investment, if he's going to do that. Um, but coming in and saying that, you know, I'm, I'm here and I should see everything. I mean, you know, he doesn't even have a promotional, a licensed promotional outlet uh, outfit to run even the fight that was in Nebraska to begin with. They use somebody else's license. So for me, I believe that the decisions he made or the things that he said were just out of just being green in the boxing side at uh, the business side of boxing, nothing to do with his, his, his ring IQ at all. But just experience in, in dealing with these negotiations on a daily, I think that that was the, a huge problem. The Twitter war, I'm over it. I'm saying that I don't think any of that is gonna gonna like help. Um, I think it just it just seemed silly to me after a while because you know what were we really gonna do? Um, ha- have an open negotiation? I think that's the best way. But at this point, fights not fight didn't happen, and um, it to me, it's just the Twitter thing is just a distraction, or trying to damage control because people are are coming for you now from the the choices you made. At this level, or fight that level, do you need experience representation when going up against uh, Al Heyman, uh, Stephen Espinosa? I believe so. Sorry, no Nito's telling me he hungry. Go ahead. All right. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, I think so. Like, mm, I mean, like, I, 20, 2016, we were dealing with Richard, and I believe three years after that, then we started working with Al. Um, but he's never... For me, it's, it's it's never been that difficult. The difficulty is for someone not just a not just a regular lawyer 
you need an entertainment lawyer that understood the numbers and what's in the game. It's even better to have a boxing lawyer because he understands everything um, in the game. Um, I don't like as far as like negotiating, like the little stuff. No, I don't think you it, like it's that much of a difference, but it's literally understanding and having someone explain it to you. If you were wanting such a big guarantee and then you also wanted, um, you know, 70 percent of the pay-per-view, but you wanted, let's just say, 20 million guarantee, people are going to be like, OK, well, that doesn't really compute. And you have to have someone explain it to you instead of you, them having like feeling like their egos being upset because they don't understand it.